Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pay your IELTS exam fee using EcoCash in Zimbabwe. I've done this process and I'm just going to show you how it works. Hello and welcome. My name is Kuda and stay tuned. So before I tell you how this works, I just want to let you know about the IELTS lessons that we actually are uh, doing. You can learn IELTS from us. We are conducting online lessons and we are conducting face-to-face -face lessons in Zimbabwe. So you can get on our website and then click the sign up page. You're going to get details on how basically uh, we are, what we are offering and things like that. So I'm going to add a link that will take you to this website below this video. So like I said, I'm going to show you how to pay your IELTS exam fee using EcoCash in Zimbabwe. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So let us look at what is um, FCA, EcoCash, EcoCash FCA. Okay, a lot of people, some of you guys may not know what EcoCash FCA is. But right now we're looking at most of people... I'm actually highlighting the place that says EcoCash RTGS. A lot of people, they use EcoCash uh, RTGS to send money to their friends in Zimbabwe. So basically, a lot of people know about this. this but EcoCash has got another service that is called FCA, which simply means EcoCash Forex Currents, Foreign Currents Account. Okay, Probably I may make some errors, uh, but basically I think this is what it means. Now, let me explain what um, EcoCash FCA is offers and how it works so you can send money usd to another person in zimbabwe let's say the same way you send money to someone using eco cash um in zimbabwe you can send someone usd okay and when they go to the eco cash outlet they can collect us dollars cash okay and you can receive money from diaspora let's say if relative and friends that are outside zimbabwe that need to send you us dollars they can send money direct to your eco cash and then you go to eco cash um outlet to collect usd and one of the options that it offers is well this type of an account is called making money making payments online okay you can actually pay anything online so this is what i'm going to be explaining this with there's a lot of um services or that this uh, actually comes with and um you can actually check the econet website and also uh, check the outlets and ask questions about this service so if you have an echo cash account it simply means you automatically have this EcoCash FCA. Maybe you're just not using it, but um, you have it, okay? Let me just move on to the next slide. So, before you actually watch this video, I've done another video as well that I did a video on how to book IELTS uh, in Zimbabwe online. So, you can actually check out this video. This video is very private. You can only access it once I give you the link. So you can actually check the link in the description below. You're going to find the link uh, on how to book IELTS, this whole process, the steps and the information that is um, needed there and what you should actually put in place before you book IELTS. So I, so I recommend that you go through uh, this video as well uh, that we are looking at right now. I'm going to add a link in the description. So with that out of the way, let's actually move forward. So when you're paying for your IELTS, okay, when you're paying for your IELTS, you're going to come to a point like this, okay? This video that I've told you explains that. You're going to come to a point like this where you're supposed to make a payment. And uh, you can pay with a credit card or you can pay with PayPal. Um, I've done a video as well that explains what PayPal is. I'm going to add the video in the description below as well. But a lot of people, they want to use a card. So there are situations what uh, that a lot of people go through in terms of... Um, in terms of using this uh in terms of using this type of a card and some people they can call a relative that can you please pay on my behalf and things like that but this video really is going to cover on how you can actually pay uh using eco cash on your own i think it's much easier okay however um basically after this step you're gonna if you select the pay with card you're gonna come to the, a page like this where you're supposed to enter your card details your name expiry date and the security code okay so all things being equal, like myself, let me just explain uh, what the card is like. So in Zimbabwe, I use a MasterCard, which is called um, uh, from FBC Bank. And this MasterCard has got three things, really. It has got, um, in order to open this bank account from uh, FBC MasterCard, I think you just walk into FBC Bank and um, apply for this card. It's easy to get. I think it's less than twenty dollars to get one, and it's instant actually. But a lot of people they really don't want to go this route. Uh, that's my observation. So, you are given a card number. This is the card number that you are looking at right now, and then the expiry date um, where you're supposed yeah, where the card expires. And then at the back of the card, if you turn it, you're gonna look that there is a three digit code, which is the security code. So let's say. If I'm paying with a card, with a bank card, with a normal bank card, 
basically what you're saying is that you are entering this card number you are entering it here so what you're seeing on my left here and what you're seeing on my right this is the uh, website where you make the payment okay and then this is the website the, the card so this is the card number that you enter here okay that's the card number that you enter the expiry date is what you enter here okay and then the security code is what is is the three digit number that is the back of your card okay and then here you just enter your name so since you're using ecocache to do this that simply means we need to generate something like this with ecocache so that we can enter the details here so that's the process that i'm just going to show you and how do you pay with ecocache okay so the first thing that you do is you go to any econet shop and then you make a deposit of the amount that you need to make payment including the charges a very good example is whereby maybe you want to pay for something that is maybe uh five dollars or whatever amount that you need to pay ask the ecocache guys to say if i need to make a payment of x amount of dollars how much charges should i put so what it simply means the government uh, charges when you make a payment online and then ecocache as well is got their own charges right there and then make sure that you have enough money that you're making a depot so the same way you used to do cashing a lot of people they understand that cashing uh is done is the same way you go with your us dollars cash and then you put into your fc account and then once you deposit the cash in the money i remember you have got a lot of options you can send someone that money or you can actually uh send that money to a relative or to a friend or you can make a payment online and in this case we want to make a payment and there are someone uh, some, some other benefits as well of using ecocash fca so you can learn about that on um, econet website so in order to get um to get this going once you make the deposit that is the first step that you need to take you go on your phone and then you type in star 151 a lot of people know how to do that so this is actually my phone that i've been actually doing that and then you enter your pin number right there once you enter your pin number you need to select the option number seven which says wallet services as you can see there's option number seven and then you enter you select option number one echo cash debit card that's what you need to select you enter one there and then you hit send and then on the next step you're going to be asked for echo cash mastercard physical and there is virtual you need to select echo cash mastercard virtual which is option number two and then you just enter right there and then you select request vcn you enter number one and you click send so what vcn simply means is virtual card number it's a virtual card number that you're actually requesting okay and then you go next and then here we always says enter nickname what it simply means is that um you just enter any any four digit code it can be your year of birth it can be um eight two six four as long as it's um four letters or words you can even say kuda or you can even say uh, uh any four letter words that you can just uh, enter there and once you enter that you click on send once you click on send you're gonna uh, get a request that says you have requested a vcn as a payment option um your identification number is blah 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 and then submit you just press one to confirm and then you just hit send once you do that, you're going to get a message that says success message that says VCN virtual card number success uh, generation success. And then you click OK. Once you do that, you're going to get a message. OK, and then you check as it's an SMS that you actually get. The SMS that you get is it comes with a number, OK, a long number. And then this card expires in 28 days. And then CVV, this is the security code. That is that is the number that you're seeing the three digit code and then the uh the uh expiry date so what you have done there you have actually created a virtual card so what you're seeing right there is a mastercard from fbc and what you're seeing right there is the eco cash virtual card that i just got so i'm just going to show you the similarities that these two things have okay so the first thing that is there is uh is this card number that is long is the same is it's, it's almost it's, it is actually this what you've actually generated right there okay and the expiry date this is the expiry date that the sms brought and then the security code or the cvv number is this three digit code that you have so what it simply means is that we have been able to generate these card details so that we can be able to make a payment online okay so what we then do what you're seeing on my right here on my left i mean and right side this is the website uh, uh, where you're supposed to uh, make a payment, uh, okay? And this is the SMS that I actually got. 
So on the card number option here, you enter these long numbers onto here, okay? And then you enter your name, okay? And then on the CVV uh, number, which is the security number here, it says security code. On some websites, it says security number, okay? You just enter this number right there. And then on the expiry date, and then you just enter this um, expiry date. When you do that, voila, you are done. You would have actually um, gone through the process of paying uh, your IELTS exam fee with EcoCash uh, using this process. And then you just click on pay now. You're going to get a success message uh, that says, um, well done. You've actually made payment. And then you can go ahead and uh, do other things that are important. So do you have any questions for me? I want you to leave a comment in the comment section if you're facing any troubles. And um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And then here, I want you to uh, leave a comment as well if this has worked for you, okay? And if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel and sub share this video with others. And please don't forget to visit our website. We have got uh, IELTS lessons and a lot is happening. Just click on the sign up. You're going to get the details on how to access our website. And uh, once you get into our website, let me just give you a sneak peek of what our website looks like. This is our website. We have got discussions right there. We have got um, courses, IELTS courses, and some of the important uh, information about uh, the process of uh, applying as a care worker in the UK. So um, make sure also that you access this. And um, thank you so much. Please make sure you join our WhatsApp group and our Facebook group as well. With that out of the way, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.